All right, so a rather sad news. Uh, Abe Kain says he's here near So Ghana has lost one of his biggest icons again, and this is a very sad issue. Breaking news: Abe Kain says air purchase a confirmed though air purchase honourable Sherry Ayithi. She is dead, and uh, her age was seventy-five years old. If you don't know Sherry Ayithi, she used to be uh, one of Ghana's uh, biggest ministers. Just a uh, year as if him ye pa. Now, as in a bit trust from our back was about this lady and even what we are learning said so took her life at a very the age is not really that bad but she could have lived longer uh check details of what really transpired that really led to her death no this a press release which was released by the family uh as you can see on the screen so it's a press release death of honorable honey uh sherry ayithi it is almost announced the death of a year honorable Sherry Ayiti. Now, uh, the other one the head of the family, Ni Kufi Ayiti of Akwiti uh, Nantan Osu Alatha, announced the deep sorrow of the death of their beloved daughter and sister, honorable Ani Sherry Ayiti, on uh, July 22nd, 2023, which is a The family will announce further details in due course. This was signed by Ni Kofi Ayiti and it was sent to all media houses. So basically, this press release, you know, uh, what it seems to clarify and what it seems to point out is that this particular woman who was once Ghana's uh, minister and also uh, a statesman, no, Meneo Kasano, she has passed on. Now, Sunny, I call share details of what really happened uh what we are learning say it caused this no you have to share a year sherry ayithi na bako sem kakra so sherry ayithi no she is a Ghanaian politician uh, she was also the former minister of environment science and technology uh, uh she served as a minister in the ndc administration uh you know you say sherry, sherry ayithi dear she was an ardent ndc member uh, aside from that too she also served as a minister for fair for fisheries and also aquaculture development aside from that too, she also became the minister of health uh, i remember from way back 2013 to 2014 so she's been an active uh ndc member at just say you know say honorable serrayte dear on your be or yeah uh new person in the new democratic congress party the party of the ndc and also uh, the government and the governance of Ghana as a who as a politician. Now, yeah, call us in what could see what really happened. The course, so in the course of death, no, yeah, share the life history. Kakra, uh, Sherry Ayithi, she attended Laboni Senior High School, uh, after Laboni Senior High School, no, and now two from a call a year, Kwame Nkuma University of Science and Technology, Hono, and now call obtaining a bachelor in science. Uh, a bachelor of science in biochemistry and also industrial microbiology if you want to and now also a call the american universities management uh you know a friend who had a john hopkins university of baltimore and who should be able to obtain a management uh, degree and also masters we know also a call a year uh kilo graduate school of management i know about more so no so called the additional degree so uh actually i did the banner book of seven name dear she's really done well now uh one of the things uh uh yeah the be kai sherry i eat the yeah the facts say she's been involved in women's movement so if you are very keen on women's movement now we need the 31st december women's movement each year as at the first uh, december women's movement and then governmental organization uh is, which is affiliated to the national democratic congress ndc you know ah uh omo president and now now could you do ajima rollins no uh you will see say this woman so she was one of the people uh, or can one or muti me a day a yes sir group no every day the the whole thing was to champion women rights in ghana uh aside from that so no um uh, when ndc lost their presidential election way back in 2000 no uh a brat up no a obey a president who said various ndc activists or more a standard trial for different reasons and shelly uh aiti was one 
on also you didn't to try out together with uh, nana kone duajima rollins in, in in relation to the diversity of the rugana rubber estates limited which means on also no about same kakra and braku four bar so way back in 2000 2001 or uh your investigations be found one he believe he said the ghana uh rubber estates limited no acquire far so good any idea i don't know maybe another woman who did more thing to my bed it's you know before and sana president go for a temple and you know uh, they decided they said they would drop the charges against miss rollins sherry ayithi and adesa now yeah prosecuted charges against them but after 2008 election you know, a uh, bra uh, John Evans at Tamils or by you know, Winnie, you know, and I all appoint you know, as a minister of environment, science, and technology. And after that, you no, know, she's gone on to be appointed as uh, a minister of health and other uh, various positions. A uh, uh, war, uh, yeah, the new National Democratic Party, uh, they giving ministerial positions. You no, know, she has enjoyed a lot. So, this is a very, very sad news for those of you who don't know. Honorable Sherry you know, we can confirm an authority that she's dead. Her age, we are getting is that she was 75 years as we showed you a press release a press release you no know, air she was a true statesman uh she did what she she called for her country and the Indian she claimed for one we thank her for also championing women's rights and making women feel like they can also achieve everything and anything and even more than what we men can achieve we'll give you more updates as all of these various events continue to unfold in our beloved country Well, there's this artist, he's called Wallace. You know, I'm his, even though I'm an artist too, like, I am a fan of his music, you know, of his brand and everything. You know, I think he's a great talent, but as usual, you know how Ghana works. If people don't, are not really, uh, it's not, you're not doing the kind of music everybody else is doing, I'm not sure I'll start be, you know, but that guy is amazing. That guy is amazing. So do you wish to date him, or you have somebody you wish to date? Oh me, I told you already I'm dating all my male fans. If I if, if I date Walasi, I'll break their hearts. I don't want to break their hearts. I'm for my male fans. Is it because he is a ladies' man? Walasi. I don't know if he's a ladies' man though. I don't know. He looks like a calm person, but I'm sure he he might be bad in other ways. I don't know. I'm just saying. Are people are saying you are Ebony's look alike. Do you take that for granted? Or you think it's a privilege? Oh, it's not a problem. I mean there are a lot of people who look like a lot of people. It is very a normal phenomenon of life. People look like people. It's not something strange. My only problem with it is when people want to be insultive about it and they think you are trying to copy her. You know, it's, it's very draining. If I look like somebody, I cannot change that fact. It is structural. I can go and change my face or whatever. You know, but I've learned with time that Ghanaians are like that. And so, yeah, I, I, of course, there are people who love me as well because they feel I look like her. You know, and I think she, I mean, she's an, she was an amazing personality for me to look like her. I think it's a plus. It's good. So what are the traits about her you really like? She has an amazing smile. You know, when you meet someone and she's, the person is pure, that like they have pure energy, you can just feel it. You know, and I just, even though I didn't know her personally from afar, she looks like she, she's one of us, you know, the pure souls. She looks like she's one of us, so. Talent. That's what I liked about her. And she has an amazing voice, obviously. Really, really talented. You know, Ghana has really lost an amazing talent. And I blame Ghanaians. You know, I think that there's something called the power of the tank. A lot of people said so much about that young girl. And I think we drove her to whatever thing happened to her. We should all be ashamed of ourselves as Ghanaians. The way we treat our people, you know, the way we say stuff. We should